After being in Corbin last year, the SOAR Summit returns to Pikeville as millions in funding is handed out. And his bond was set at $50,000, but the Commonwealth's attorney says there should not even be one set. The latest on the case of a man police say killed his 12-year-old daughter. Plus, getting more and more comfortable outside as the week rolls along. The latest on warmer air pushing in coming up as Mountain News at 6 starts now. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 6. Governor Andy Bashir and Congressman Hal Rogers announced nearly $25 million for economic development projects in Eastern Kentucky. All told, they're expected to create more than 200 jobs. It happened during the first day of the 2022 SOAR Summit in Pikeville. WIP's Jordan Mullins has more about the event and the announcements. On day one of the 2022 SOAR Summit, Governor Andy Bashir and Congressman Hal Rogers made some important announcements. Together, we are working to ensure every dollar makes the greatest impact in eastern Kentucky. And today, we are announcing $25 million for 11 different projects that applied for these competitive grants earlier this year highlighting Eastern Kentucky and helping several counties and organizations with projects. What they see us doing is important. They want to be supportive of that. And so I think it's critically important that they're here. And I think it, it sends, a, sends a strong message to the fact on a state and federal level that, that they believe what we're doing with our region is important. And they believe they're moving in the right direction. To provide a better future for all of Kentucky. Let's continue every time we have those extra dollars. Every single time we have an opportunity to move our families ahead, to create those new jobs, to build that new infrastructure, and to give our kids and grandkids a better life. But SOAR officials say change starts with you. You don't have to be a congressman, you don't have to be a governor, you don't have to be anybody with that. Normal people, that's what we have to activate Eastern Kentucky. Everybody thinking about what is my part of the rope to pull. SOAR can't tell you exactly what we can point you in the right direction, and then when you need help, we're here for you. Finding ways to make your home a better place for the next generation. In Pikeville, Jordan Mullins, WYMT Mountain News. Congressman Rogers added that he and former Governor Steve Bashir wanted to create a nonpartisan relationship when founding SOAR and that the work SOAR is doing has been very meaningful for him. You can see a list of those projects receiving funding today on our website at WYMT.com. Too many for us to mention here tonight. And we'll have more from the summit tonight at 11 and as it continues tomorrow, including live coverage at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon here on WYMT. Well, the sun approaching the horizon in many spots on this Wednesday evening and temperatures also will be falling as we head through the nighttime hours already at 54 here in Hazard. That's actually warmer than our high was expected to be today. We got a little bit more of that sunshine. Those westerly winds kicked up a little bit more, so we are rather on the warm side, at least compared to where we thought we'd be. We're still rather below normal out there as well. Mountain Comprehensive Health Corporation in Whitesburg. The MCHC camera downtown looking good as well with just a few of those clouds as things continue to work on through. Satellite and radar shows again a few of those clouds that were across the Big Sandy earlier. Nothing we have to worry about. 30 tonight. Calm and quite cold out there for our Wednesday. Details though on when a taste of spring tries to return. That's in a few minutes. Steve. Evan, thanks. Many people in jail are waiting more than a year for a competency evaluation. That evaluation is needed before cases can move forward. The wait is so long, many of those behind bars are spending more time in jail than they would have served if convicted. Valerie Church is the directing attorney of the North Trial Office at the Kentucky Department of Public Advocacy. She says about 10 to 15 of her clients facing felony charges are awaiting a competency evaluation, delaying cases, and causing court proceedings to stop dead in their tracks. I have people waiting on it who are charged with just a D felony, um, something nonviolent, and then I have people that are charged with murder that are waiting, and they're all on the same list, and they're all waiting to go to the same place to be evaluated. 
A competency evaluation can be ordered by a judge or the prosecution or defense and can be done as early as the arraignment or later down the line. However, KCPC is the only state-run psychiatric center that conducts these and it's based in LaGrange. A grand jury indicted a Whitley County murder suspect. 48-year-old Martin Canada is accused of shooting and killing 31-year-old Kyle Chadwell. State troopers say the two were fighting last month at a home on Patrick Hollow Road in Williamsburg. Canada was indicted on a murder charge. This past August, one Johnson County man was charged with the murder of his 12-year-old daughter. And today, attorneys handling the case met to discuss his bail and share some new information. WYMT's Alyssa Williams was in the courtroom. In August, 47-year-old Stacy Collins was charged with the murder of his 12-year-old daughter, Stacia Collins. It, it was really, it, it's really hard because of um, what we've seen on this particular case. Uh, I don't want to get into really details and stuff on it, but where there's a child involved, it, it's, you know, it's a hard case. Deputy Tim Clark with the Johnson County Sheriff's Office is the lead investigator in this case. Clark testified in Collins' bond hearing on Wednesday, revealing a message sent from Collins to his daughter's mother, Summer Collins, before their daughter's death. This is the end for me and Stacia. Uh, you know, if you want to see your daughter one last time, it might be a good idea to see your daughter one last time, and so forth. Deputy Clark also revealed that the bullets used to kill Stacia Collins matched the bullet of the gun Stacy Collins used in his suicide attempt. There's been a there's been a lot of talk about about this uh, particular case uh, in the communities and stuff. It's it's hard to believe what what has happened. In the bond hearing, 24th Circuit Commonwealth Attorney Anthony Skeens asked to remove the option of bond. Bail should not have been set for Mr. Collins, and that if it, when it was set, it was set way too low based upon the facts of this case that the court was not advised of. While Collins' defense attorney, Neil Borders, disagrees. Uh, we're hoping that it stays as it is, but uh, he's not been able to post the bond. It's already set, so um, it was our opinion that even if the judge does raise it, it's a moot issue because the bond's already secured him. Staying up to date on a case that is rattling the mountains. In Johnson County, Alyssa Williams, WYMT, Mountain News. The bail for Stacy Collins is still being reviewed by a judge. Skeens added that there will be a pretrial conference at the beginning of December. Well, coming up, the latest on the return of some comfortable temperatures right after this. A monument in Bell County had two more plaques added today in a ceremony full of emotion. Officers remembered two fallen canine officers killed in the line of duty this year. WYMT News app offers alerts on breaking stories as they happen.